To draw the blues from Angry Birds, we will start with the centerpiece. So we will have one, two, three characters and we will start with the center one. The main feature on those characters are the eyes. So we'll start with the eye. We we'll start with one oval. Here we do one oval. You don't have to be so correct. You do the same mirror-wise oval on the other side. Like that. No worries if it's not perfect. So here we have the shape of the eyes. So now you do, you start from the center here. You can mark it here, 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 and there. And now you do a slightly over in the center, towards the center. Here you go. You do the same thing here. And now you do the same on the top. This gives you the shape of the eye. Now you go to the center, now you have the eye, the proper eye, it goes like that. Hold inside. Now slowly you start to see the eye. The same thing on the other side. And the eyeball in the center. Here we go. You correct a bit, like me. Now you have the eyes. Sounds very weird, you will see when you're towards the end. In the center you have the beak. So you do kind of an ellipse like that. On the other side. Smaller to the center. And now a longer V here. And you can fill it out. So now you have the beak. You do the same thing here, you fill out that part. See, when you fill out here, you understand you don't have to be so precise with circles, you know, it's very hard to do anyway. So you can do it. And here you see, you have the eyes and the beak. Now we have the shape of the body around. We start here on the top. This is pretty much the center, so we go. And here again, you don't have to be too precise and because they're on the ground, they're standing there. You can do a shape almost like a pear, and then you stop here. Don't have to close it. Now you do two lines, one like that, another one this direction. This is the center of the feathers. And now you do a long side semicircle, another one that goes like that, and you connect here. Now you do lines to show that you have to do these feathers something like that. Now the back one, look like that, close here, and you go there. You can do the same thing, you can go above. So now we're missing the little hands. Here we go, we have them here, just mark it here and there. And now we go with the hand, so very easy. Kind of a finger shape here, come up, and you go like that. You don't have to be too precise here. Again, the thumb, those kind of little wings. So, and here we have already our first of the three blues. Now we can go on this side or on that side. I would suggest on that side. Now, be careful, this is not dry, so always be aware of that. So we do two big eyes again. One here. The other one here. In the center we do our dots. Now we do inside a parallel line. Inside a parallel line and on the top. Same thing. Go. 
Now we do our circles. Here. A bigger. I will in the pupil, sorry, in the center, and then we have our two pupil. We fill them out. Have already the eyes. You can see, just correct to make it a bit rounder. And the beak, remember, kind of a lozenge shape. And the longer one here, the V, that you feel out. Here we go. Now we do the whole shape. Bear in mind, we are here behind this one. So we start here, center. And again, we go like this. bit further up and then you stop here and you will start pretty much here between the two you can do it like that and we end up here so now we have the two hands will be kind of a copy of those two and kind of a thumb same thing on the other side really mirror wise of little v's and then you come up so it's almost finished you do the same thing as we did before one and two and now we have our feathers see and now you can also do a one like that more rounded here and you do your little lines to show that you have the feathers on top here we have our, already our second one, just a little correction. Now we do the, the third one. So the same thing here. We do our big eyes, one here, the other one here. Just to mark in the center where we have it. Parallel towards the inside on the bottom. Same thing now on the top. Here we go. Now we do the circles. See, and while you do the circles, you can correct the little mistakes. So now you do another circle, the inner circle, so to say, that you fill out once you've done it. Don't get too confused by all those circles. Here do a little correction. So and now we have again the beak here. Kind of a losange. And we do one more V and the bigger V here. So we have already the face. Now the center will be here. We have the shape that goes all the way around. We do it like that stops here and comes out same line roughly two fingers here comes out again come up and and we end up here so now we do our two lines here and there we can follow counterwise a parallel one a parallel one and we connect so now we start again to make sure that you recognize you do those little lines. So to recognize the feather. And we are missing now the two little hands as we did already over there. Come up like that. Some. So they're pretty much finished. Now we have to show that they're like fluffy. So we show the fluffiness by doing what we've done already with our other characters. Those little lines alongside the body. Do it like that. And the same thing here, all over. This one is more important, he's in front. So he's the one that will have 
all the little lights. He's the most important. He's the one in front. And always in that direction of the body. So same thing here. We even can do a little bit here on the hands. Same thing here. Don't forget the third one. Really, you can go. And now you see that if your lines are not that perfect and not that rounded, it doesn't matter because at the end, you come up anyway with those little marking lights to show the fluffiness. And now here you can also, you can frowning a bit. So, and then you do your corrections. Fluffiness. See, why we need to be too um, shaped, you just correct with kind of mostly light. Make sure the fluffiness. So also, here a little underneath the mouse, you do like four or five lines. You can always duplicate what you've done on one, you do it always on the two other ones. So, here are the blues, finished.